I honor and love you. But, but, but I shall obey God rather than you. And while I have life and strength left in me, I shall never cease from the practice and teaching of philosophy. For know that this is the command of God. And I believe that no greater good has ever occurred in this state than my service to the God. For I do nothing but go about persuading you all, old and young alike, not to take thought for your persons or your properties, but first and chiefly to take care about the greatest improvement of the soul. This is my teaching. And if this is a doctrine which corrupts the youth, then I'm a mischievous person. Wherefore, O men of Athens, I say to you, therefore, let me or not, but whichever you do, I shall never alter my ways, never adjust my approach to this phase, never reform till the end of my days, even if I have to die many times. Intuition, reasons, and opinions is a name, and so unbelievable they are living, and we find being into winter, so it's like this seems a shame to go on. But he is all things in all, and he is nothing in many. He is often found in one thing small, conversely, he is often missed in many.
say to yourself, oh, but we have Abraham as our father. Where I tell you, God can make children out of Abraham from these stones here. The axe will lay to the roots, and any tree that fails to produce good fruit shall be cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize with water for repentance sake, but he who comes after me is mightier than I. I am not fit to take off his shoes. He will baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay. Do you come to me? Yeah, I want to get washed up. I need rather to be baptized by you. No, no, let it be so for the present. We do well now to perform with all that God requires. When will thou save the people, O oh God of mercy, when? Not kings and lords, but nations, not thrones and crowns, but men. Flowers of thy heart, O oh God, are they?
and teaches others so, he will have the highest place in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you this, unless you all show yourselves to be far better men than the Pharisees and the doctors of the law, now I know the way. <laughs> you shall never enter the kingdom of heaven.
brother sues you. <laughs> you better settle with him quickly. Otherwise, he'll hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the constable. And you'll land in jail. And I tell you, you'll not get out of there until you pay the last penny.
offends you, tear it out and fling it away. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, it's better for you to lose one part of your body than for the whole of it to be thrown into hell. But she's... She's got a weak back. Since when? <laughs> Why don't you just get it back there? Now, if you're right... Oh. If your right hand offends you, I want you to tear it up and fling it away. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Now look, it's better for you to lose only one part of your body than for the whole of it to be thrown into hell. Oh. You've heard what they were told, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But what I tell you is this, never set yourself against one who wants to harm you. Someone slaps you in the right cheek, turn and offer him your left. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. 
the then the next guy will listen to nobody, even if someone should. Rise from the
life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Oh man, her body's more than clothes, I'll show you. Sit down! Consider the lilies of the field. <gasps> they don't work, and they don't spin. Yet I tell you, Solomon in all his splendor was not clothed like one of these. So, if that's how God clothes the grass, which is here today, and then tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not all the more clothe you? Don't go around anxiously asking, what are we to eat? Or, what are we to drink? Um, what are we to eat? <laughs> Set your minds where? God. 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 God's justice and his mercy and all the rest will come to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has problems of its own. Problems. Yeah, I got For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let's figure it more. For they shall be comforted. Let's figure the feet. For they shall inherit the earth. Let's figure those who hunger. And thirst for justice. For they shall be filled. Let's figure the merciful. They shall have mercy. Let's figure the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Let's figure the peacemakers. They shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed yeah. are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you. Falsely. Did I ever tell you that I used to read feet? Uh, no, no, it's true. Some people read palms or tea leaves. I read feet.
plate in your own? I don't know. How can you see a speck of sawdust in your brother's eye when all the time there's a great plate in your own? Or, how can you take the speck of sawdust out of your brother's eye when all the time there's a great plank in your own? I don't know. How can you take a speck of sawdust out of your brother's eye when all the time there's a great plank in your own? You hypocrite! First, you must take the plank out of your own eye so that you can see clearly to take the speck of sawdust out of your brother. That's no answer to the question. Did I promise an answer to the question? Oh. <laughs> when you can say
We do not know. And neither will I tell you by whose authority I act. But I have a story for you. A man had two sons. He said to the first, Go, my son, work in the vineyard today. I will go, said the son. But he never went. So he said to the second, Go, my son, go and work in the vineyard today. I will not go, said the son. But later on, he changed his mind and went. Now, which of these two did as his father wished? It. What? The second. And I tell you this, tax gatherers and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of heaven. Because when John came and showed you the right way to live, you did not listen to him. But the tax gatherers and the Pharisees did. And even when you saw this, you did not change your minds and follow him. Give us an answer to this question. Are we or are we not permitted to pay taxes to, to the, the Roman, Roman Emperor? Emperor? You hypocrite! Shh. Show me the money in which the tax is <laughs> paid. Show me the money. <laughs> well now, whose head is on here? Whose inscription? Caesar's? And pay Caesar what is due Caesar. And pay God what is due God. Master, what is the greatest commandment? You will love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the prophets have written, and all the law is based on these first two. The Pharisees and the doctors of the law sit in the chair of Moses. Therefore, listen to their words and pay attention to what they say. But do not follow their practices. For they say one thing, and they do another. They pile heavy loads on men's shoulders, but they don't raise a finger to lift the loads themselves. Everything they do is done for show. Oh, they go about wearing long robes, large phylacteries, and flowing tassels. And in feasts and in the synagogues, they have to have places of honor at the table. And in the streets, they like to be called teacher. But you must not be called teacher, for you have only one teacher, the Messiah. You must call no man on earth father, for you have only one father, you are all his children. You must call no man on earth rabbi, for you have only one rabbi, and he is in heaven. Prince, 
for ways, but you would not let me. And so I tell you this. You will not see me again till the day when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But be careful that no one deceives you. For many will come claiming my name, saying, I am the Messiah. And many will be misled by them. For the time is coming when you hear the noise of battle near at hand. Nation make war upon nation, kingdom upon kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many lands. But with all these things, the birth pangs of a new age begin. For as things were in Noah's days, Happy Noah's days! So will they be when the Son of Man returns. Come on, animals, come on. There's a 73% chance of rain. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on now, come on. Hurry up, get in there. Come on. Come on, come on. For as things were in the days before the flood, when men ate and drank and married and knew nothing, till the flood came and swept them all away. Son of Man returns, there will be men working in the field. And of these men working, one will be taken and the others will be left. Women grinding at the wheel. And of these women grinding, one will be taken and the others will be left. So keep awake, for your Lord will return at a time you least expect. Ha! Remember, if the household had known at what time the boy boy was coming, it would have stayed up all night. <laughs> so keep awake, for your Lord will return at a time you do not know. Now, who is the trusty servant? who is charged by his master to take care of his servants and pay them at the proper time. Well, happy is the man who's at his job when his master returns. For I tell you, he will put him in charge of all his master's property. But what of that bad servant who says to himself, the master is a long time in coming, and who bullies the other servants? and is eating and drinking with his drunken friends. I tell you, his master will return at a time he least expects, a day he does not know, and he will cut him to pieces. in the kingdom of heaven. Say about it, Miss. That the one of you 
who is faultless may throw the first stone. Yeah! Oh, dear. Oh, guys. Oh, darn. Where are they now? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir. Nor do I condemn you. You may go. But do not sin again. For when I was hungry, 
You gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked and without a home, you took me to your home. When I was ill and in prison, you came to my aid. Hey! Get back there. And then he will say to them, anything you did for one of your brothers here, however humble, you did for me. Oh, I get it. Then he will say to those on his left, a curse is upon you. Go now to the eternal fire that... To the eternal fire that has been ready for you with the devil since the world was made. For when I was hungry, you did not give me food. When I was thirsty, you did not give me anything to drink. When I was naked and without a home, you did not take me into your home. When I was ill and in prison, you did not come to my aid. And then they will say to him, Oh, Master, if we'd only known it was you, we would have taken you out for some lamb chops. <laughs> and he will say to them, Anything you did not do for one of your brothers here, however humble, you did not do for me. Go take your place in eternal punishment. But the righteous shall have everlasting life. Father, hear thy children's call. Humbly at thy feet we fall. Cry
Baruch Ato Adonai, Elohaidu, Melecholam, Bore Pri Hagothem. This is my blood. Take this. blood that was shed for the covenant of the forgiveness of sins. I tell you this, 
I will not drink of the fruit of the vine again until I drink it with you in the kingdom of my Father. If it be possible for this cup to pass me by without my drinking from it, yet not as I will, but as thou wilt. What? Could none of you stay awake with me for one hour? Stay awake! and be spared the test. The spirit is willing. Oh, the flesh is weak. Everyone else may fall away on their account, but I never will. I tell you this. Tonight, before the cock crows, you will all betray me three times. If 
it not be possible for this cup to pass me by without my drinking from it? Thy will be done. Jesus, son of God, why? If you are the son of God, turn these stones to the bread. Man does not live on bread alone. He lives on every word that God utters. If you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For scripture says, he will send his angels to support you when they will hold you in their arms. I shall not tempt the Lord your God. All oh, these things I will give you if you will pay me off. Be gone, Satan! You will pay homage to the Lord your God. And you will worship him alone. Do quickly, friend, what you have to do. Put down the sword. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword.
is um, so many memories in this. Um, for the seniors, this is our last, our last show in Powell, and for Lele, I think it's her last show ever. And um, so I, I just want to first off, I'd like to thank my fellow seniors, um, and then I'd like to thank the one, the only, the man on the keyboards, Mr. Clark Taylor. here as a freshman, having no idea what to do, being this, you know, wide-eyed ninth grader, and Mr. Tim, I mean, I owe so much to this man, it's, yes, please come down, <laughs> trying to deliver a speech to the audience while this throw it to you, but, um, I, it was ridiculous, uh, how much he does for us, Words cannot say how much I'm going to do. Thank you so much. We have flowers, we have a card, and a gospel card. Wow! Thank
that God tells a little secret on us. We know he's saying something, but we can't quite understand it. Like, like Telemundo. You start watching a game. Oh, go! Go! He's running on the field. No. You see what the good master is trying to tell us? Is that when God tells a little secret on us, it's, it's like a game of dodgeball. You start in the back where there's no ball, no dodgeballs to go. You run up to the front, grab it, run back. You find the weaker kid. You get ready. You, 